Alright, hey girls. Hi. So where are we? CDYC. And where is that at? Rapid City. What camp? Cedar Canyon Wesleyan. Ah, Bailey wins. <laughs> Alright, so did you go to CDYC last year? Yes, I did. Did you have fun last year? Yes, I did. Did you make friends? Yes, I did. Where are they? Over there. Let's go. I've been thinking it's about time. Especially last night, you could feel um, God throughout the entire room, and it's just, it was great. And I experienced God this weekend when we had the burning of our sins. Um, they used special paper, so it exploded. It was gone instantly, and that really um, made a great visualization to how God can take away our sins, just like that. And that was probably the greatest experience ever at CDYC for me. 
I think the way God was working in my life was that he was telling me to move on from the problems I had in the past and look to the future and not to the past. And move on from like people that are bringing me down and pulling me away from me. CDYC was awesome and I saw God move in our group and the small times we had together uh, and the vulnerability they had with each other and with us and just talking about the real things they were dealing with and letting us be a comfort to each other and letting God move. I saw God working in our group because so many people let so many things go that's been holding them back for so long. I felt that same thing in New York. It was, it was an amazing feeling. I was just sitting there thinking about what Pastor Bob had said. He was talking about how one day his friend just died and whatnot, how it was unexpected. So I was sitting there thinking about my life, thinking, have I served God the way that he wants me to? If I died today, would I be happy with what I've done? Should I do this differently? Should I have done that differently? And I just sat there, I'm like, why should I regret doing something? It's in the past, I can't change it, but I can try and make amends with what I've done. And just trying to do that, that's the thought that counts. Because even if you missed your mark, God will still allow you to have a little clearance room. The way I felt God moving this weekend was just like when I got the chance to pray with other people who just rededicated their life to Christ this weekend. And it was really awesome. I felt really blessed. Everything that I experienced.